Today we're talking about Google Ads CTR or click-through rate. We're going to talk about what it is, we're going to talk about what a good number should be, and we're going to talk about how to increase it if the number isn't exactly where you want it to be. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini. I'm a Google Ads agency owner, a trainer, and an entrepreneur who's been working with Google Ads for more than 15 years. So this is kind of a redo of a video that we did about a year ago, or an addition to, I should say. It's uh, something that we got a lot of really good questions on, and we wanted to kind of show you some examples of real-world accounts and give you an idea of the kind of industries that they're in. And we're gonna show you some accounts that we actually are uh, managing for other clients and uh, you know, kind of talk about the industries that you're in, what kind of numbers you should be seeing, and how to improve those numbers if you're not seeing what you're gonna see on our screens. So let's dive in right now and take a look. All right, so here we are looking at a couple or several of our clients' campaigns. Now, um, one thing I wanna point out is these click-through rates are really kind of all over the board. You can see there's a couple of them here that are actually paused uh, right now, so they aren't running, but we've got everything from three to 12, four, 10%, six, 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 12, 12.8%, uh, 12 and on down the board. Now, one thing I want you to remember is there's a lot of different things going on in each of these different accounts. So for instance, I happen to know that this account, the click-through rate is much higher for the search campaigns. However, it will always be much lower for display campaigns. And there is search and display campaigns going on inside this uh, account here. So that will average out when we look at this overall number. So you need to keep that in mind. All right, just to, and just to give you an example of how display campaigns can mess with your click-through rate averages, here we are inside a campaign that's been running for quite a while, uh, but you can see these different ad groups, 10, 9, uh, you know, 13, 23, 18, but then we get these ones that are less than 1%. These were both display ad campaigns. Then we get back 23, 18, 13, 16, 8, 3. This was very underperforming here. But then we get to another display campaign, 0.43%. All of these are actually really good click-through numbers, or the majority of them are. But as an average, it averages out to 5%. So that's one thing you need to keep in mind when looking um, at it as an account average. You got to take these things into account. In this particular campaign right now, we aren't running any... Uh, uh, any display ads and you can see right now those are running at 12 and a half percent click-through rate which is extremely high um, but in some of these other ones um, you know 4.24 percent 6.19 6.74 most of them are just chugging right along so what are the best click-through rates or CTR that you have in your campaigns do us a favor and let us know in the comment section below also let us know uh, what industry you're in so other people can kind of look at that and compare their numbers to yours so across the industry, we've seen everything, and we're talking large agencies and large um, PPC software companies that they say, you know, their averages are 2%. The click-through average might be 1.5. So we see them kind of all over the board, anywhere between 1.5 and probably 3.5% on average. But what they don't talk about is, is that at the beginning of the campaign, is that overall, um, you know what what does that entail so we always say that we have we have two benchmarks that we'd like to see we like to see out of the gates hitting three to four percent then over time um, usually within 90 days we want that up above five percent if at all possible once again it always depends on the situation there are certain campaigns in certain industries and in certain locations that that's going to be really hard to hit but the biggest goal is to always be improving on your click-through rates. The more people that you can get to click your ad, that's more opportunities for you to sell your product or your service. So always be improving. Now we also said we're gonna show you some different things that you can do to improve click-through rates. Number one, what type of business are you advertising? Once again, different industries are gonna have different click-through rates. Uh, service businesses, if somebody's looking for an emergency plumber because they had a pipe break at midnight, um, that's actually going to get a really high click-through rate as long as you're writing your ads well. Number two, what type of devices are you advertising on? Depending on if you're on mobile, uh, desktop, or tablets, you are going to get different click-through rates for each one of those. So you need to be aware of that. 
different devices are going to have different click-through rates. Now, if you have 95% of your conversions coming through mobile and your mobile click-through rates are 10%, you might wanna turn all of your traffic onto mobile or at least really decrease your bids on desktop ads because click -through, your click-through rates and your conversions are really dri uh, driven on mobile. Number three, how much competition is there? Depending on if you're in a large metro area or a small rural community, if you happen to, maybe you're uh, advertising nationwide and you have a, a lot of competition, the more competition, the more ads. The more ads, the more opportunity there is for other, uh, other people to get those clicks. So that will have a factor. To help eliminate that, maybe you eliminate some of your really highly searched keywords and really narrow it down to some of those longer tail keywords where there is less competition. And this kind of ties into the next one, what is your ad saying? So that brings us into number four, how relevant is your ad? If you have specific keywords that people are typing into Google, you should have those keywords in the beginning of your headline of your ad. The reason being is Google highlights them and makes them bold so you can see it easier. It captures your eye when you're doing a search. Try it now. So here we did a search for radon removal and as you can see, the keyword comes up at the beginning of this ad, but it also, it also highlights the keywords or versions of the keyword in that particular ad. And it catches your eye because it's got the keyword right here immediately and it's got a number of instances of that keyword throughout the ad. It definitely catches your eye more than the next one down. So make sure you group your keywords very tight together because the more, the more alike that those keywords are, the easier it is to write an ad that encompasses those particular keywords. And last, this might be the most important one. Is your landing page working like it's supposed to? Now, why does that have an impact on your, on your click-through rates? Because if, you're, if people are clicking your ads and getting to your page, wherever you're sending them, your landing page, whatever it might be, and they're not taking action, they're just immediately clicking that back button, Google is measuring that. When that happens a lot, Google tends to place your ads further down the page, which means that even though somebody has done a search and your ad might be on that page, it might not be viewable because it's all the way down at the bottom. It's still considered an impression even though nobody saw it, it's just further down the page. The further down the page means more impressions you can get down there, but less people are gonna click them and that will affect your click-through rates. Make sense? So one thing I want you to take away from all of this is just make sure that no matter what, you're always trying to improve those click-through rates. Some of them may be slower, some of them may be faster. But if you're always improving your click-through rates, that's more opportunity for you to get customers into your business. So if you're not hitting the CTR or click-through rate numbers that you wanna hit, and you would like some help inside your campaigns, down below in the description area is a link to our consulting packages where you can purchase a 30 or one hour window where we can go in with you inside your campaigns, take a look at what's going on and give you some suggestions on how to improve your campaigns. So do us a favor, if you like the video, hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel and watch the other videos, some of our more popular videos over to the right. Six things I wish I knew when starting a Google Ads campaign and how much do Google Ads cost and seven ways to lower it. Thanks for watching.